Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you step by step how to use the Rhino 3D software to create this really organic look nugget ring. Are you ready? Let's get started. To creating this texture, there are two ways to do it. So that's starting from the scratch. First of all, you will need to create in the ring size. So I'm going to snapping into the zero, use a circle command to create something about 16 millimeter. Now we want to creating this ring first. So that means creating the ring shape. Coming into my front view, I'm going to use the arc and snapping, holding my shift, snapping somewhere here. And I like to have a button taper, so I want to move in this up with the control point first. All right. The second thing is I'm going to use the line from midpoint and turn on my grid snap right here and decide how high I want it and how wide I want this nugget ring to be. Let's go ahead to use the curve tool and you have one to extend the curve. We want to extend it by the arc to the point. So extend it from here to the point here, extend it again from the point to here. Now with the nugget ring, we do not want it to have this sharp corner. If you wanted to have that's up to you. I usually, even though it's like rough looking, I still want to have a fitted edges. So let me give it a fit it for maybe 1.5. And we want to fit it from here to here and here to here. All right. So with all of this, I'm going to creating a surface. But if I have the surface like this, I can break it into the small section. Mean that when I create UV curve, they will be small section. So I'm going to join only the top part and rebuild this curve right here to make it into one section. Now, when you rebuild it, you're going to have those deviation but it is going to be a nugget ring, so it's not going to be like too much. I don't care about too much about the deviation, so I'm going to click OK. Now, I do not want it to be a little bit bumped there, so I'm going to pick up everybody on the top using my gumball 1D scale, and right here type in 0, so they will be at the same level right there. All right, so this will be the surface I'm going to play with. Now, if I'm going to using a surface and I'm going to extrude it straight. I want to extrude it on the both sides. Both sides equal yes. Then I'll get something like this, right? And I do want it to have a ring taper. So let me go ahead to draw a line, taper something like this for my ring. And maybe a little bit thinner. Get it really close there. And I wanted to have this one to mirror to the other side something like this okay and using those two curves i can trim off the extra right here and extra right there right so now i have this surface i can do the design i'm going to create uv curve and i'm going to hit enter and you're going to see something like this the box outside is the surface of original one the box inside is after we trim it it has the taper right there Okay, so now that's dealing with the texture. In order to get the nugget look texture, you may need to go online to find something similar. So we're gonna go online. Let's type in nugget ring and see what do we have. Um, so if you see the nugget ring, you can see that they come in like really irregular shape. And most likely it's the gentleman ring and uh, you can create in those shape yourself, but I'm a bit lazy and I want to see if any other things I can do. Now in this nugget ring right here, it's kind of a uniform and it's pretty big, but I want a more nature look. All right. So I want to see uh, if I just type nugget without a ring and what image will I, oh, it's a chicken nugget. It's Actually, it's not bad. If we are using this as a texture, it might be really close. I don't know. You can try and let me know if that, that worked for you. <laughs> uh, but in my demo, I was trying to use uh, 
pebble. In my demo, I was trying to use the pebble stone and that's why it gets a little bit rounder, but maybe you can find the one is not super rounded. And those is think about if this is your nugget texture and that would be great. Or you can search some sort of a rock there and for you to, to download. And if you like any of the texture, like something like this, or something like this. If you like any of those texture and what you wanted to do is you want to save image, uh, try to save as a JPEG. So it can be saved as a JPEG. As you can see, I already have other image right there and I'm going to click save. All right, then we want to come back to the Rhino and we want to use the image to creating the texture right there. So let's go ahead to coming into the surface tool. You have this is called high field and you want to pick up the image that you have. I was using this one. I'm ju just going to stick with this one. But again, any image that you have will completely have a different result. Okay. I wanted to have the area. It's bigger than what I have there. And this um, square looking thing, it, you cannot change the proportion because that is the picture size. All right. So I want to be bigger than that. You can choose like height is different. The number of the sample is different. The higher that you get, you can get 400 and 400, the more close to the image that you have. Right. But your computer might be shut down if you have 400 by 400. I'm just going to use 100 by 100 as an example. And then you're going to see something like this. Now let's take a look on the perspective. If you look at my perspective, you're going to see something like this. Let's take a look on the render view. You can see they are super high and low, and then you even have those things there. All right. So a lot of time the nugget ring on the top is completely flat, right? So what I like to do is I like to turn on the control point and you can see, whoa, it's crazy, right? Um, but what I wanted to do is I want to pick up about half size right here on the top and using my gumball. And I wanted them to be the same level. So I'm just going to type it zero there. So they are exactly the same level. All right. Then I want to pick up the bottom, whatever that is. And I want them to be level to be exactly the same level. And I wanted to scale this, not scale. I'm moving this close to what I have there for the thickness that I want. So let's take a look on the perspective one more time. Now it's better. There's a certain area has been flattened out. And if you wanted to uh, pinpoint on the certain that you want, that would be great. I think I make it again is a little bit too smooth. Uh, so I can come back to increasing the depth by pulling all this point up a little bit. And that is actually the thickness of, you know, the nugget that you're dealing with. So you don't want to pull it too high. Right now I have almost like two. I think it's like way too high. Once you adjust it, you want to see uh, the render view and see if this is what you want. Okay. And again, depends on really which picture that you're looking for. Uh, maybe you don't want it to have something started with the pebble. Maybe you can find some other good texture that you can share in the description below with everybody. I really appreciate it. But I just wanted to show you the way to make it. So let's go back here. Let's say we really like this texture and how we're going to apply that back in there. You want to move in the texture around and to find where's the best angle for you to using that texture. And I want to pick up this one right here. Actually, I'm going to pick up this curve right here and we're just going to use the trim command to trim the rest of it. Okay. So now I have this, I need to create some sort of the thickness right there. So I'm going to use the same curve and I'm going to extrude it into the certain high right there. And I'm going to move it down somewhere as long as it's a little bit longer than the bottom of my nugget. And I'm going to pick up the, my nugget and trim it all the way down the top. All right, so now I have this one. If I join it, all I need to do to make it solid, it's the button, right? So button is flat, so I'm just going to use the cap command. Okay, so now I have this one right here. The curve and my object poly surface, I want them to align and I want to align to the button. And I'm just going to type it zero here. 
I'm going to delete this one right here. So now this is the uh, the object that we're going to dealing with. So with this curve right here, let's go ahead to make them into the surface. Let's go ahead to using the surface from planar curve. And then when I create that surface, let me mark them into the red color. All right, so now we are going to flow this back to here. So let's go ahead under the transform that you have flow along surface and you want to pick up one of the corner. You're going to come in here to pick up another corner. Then you will have this nugget right there. Notice that this is really outside of this ring and that's dramatically increasing the thickness. So in fact, actually, I wanted to have my surface going up a little bit. So I move the surface up. Let's do it one more time. We want to using the command flow along the surface and we want to pick up the object. Hit enter, pick up one of the corner and coming over here, pick up the other corner. All right. So now it's more inside of the ring. It's much better. We can hide in this original surface. And again, the pattern end up, it's, it's going to depend on the image that you found. So if you found the image is more sharper image, so you won't get this like a rounded. If you do share with us, uh, leave the link in the description below. I really appreciate it. You share with the other members. Okay. So now the rest of it's quite simple. We're going to pick up this one, this one, and pick up all the curve that we had and this one and join it together. All right. Uh, on my right view, I'm also going to connect it in between here and here and connect it in between here and here. And with this, I'm going to join together. All right. So all we need to do is a bunch of extrusion. So let's go ahead to extrude it, planar curve. And I wanted to do on the both side and wider than my ring here. And on this view, I'm going to extrude it wider than the ring. Then let's go ahead to using the bowling intersection. We pick up this one, intersect with this one. So we'll get this ring here. Double make sure on my render view, if it looks like this is something, stick it out there and it doesn't look good. And if you can see, it's actually from my right view. So we can simply trim it. Let's go ahead to make another box. With this box, I want it to three point. Point one, point two, and the other point for whatever lens that you have. This supposed to the it should trim off the extra right there. Let's take a look. So we want to pick up the nugget itself and using the bowling difference to pick up the cutting object. And you should trim it off really nicely right there. And if that worked for you, that would be great. Or well, I noticed that. I'm hiding all the nugget because the ring that I have is like way too long. So I'm going to delete this ring and it's actually I'm not going to delete this section. I'm going to show you what happened. This is because my I have everything is like too long there. Uh, I actually need to re-adding in those points to show more of the nugget right there. So with this, I'm going to moving the point coming down here. All right. Or you can move the point the way that you like it. And it's hard to see. I mean, this view, I'm just going to quickly to do some editing, but you can do more detailed editing if you want to. All right. So now the curve that we have is this. And if you do not like it to blocking on the bottom right here, you may want to turn on the control point and continue to edit. Maybe you want to just moving this inside. It's up to you. Maybe you want to moving inside as long as you can show the nugget right there. Okay. So let's do it one more time. We have this and we want to quickly to extrude a planar curve straight. And we also want to quickly to use one extrude a planar curve straight. And we want to do the bowling intersection. This one out of this one. All right. So that way you will show the nugget more. If you like to have what I have there to build another plate that you could to hiding all the edges, that's another way to do it. I hope you enjoy the video. If you are a beginner and you want to learn right now for jewelry cat design in an efficient way, welcome to check out my course, Jewelry Cat Masterclass. 
where I teach from very beginning to advanced technique and answer students' questions every week myself. Hope to see you in the program. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next.